And here we have another Deflugia and a motorcycle going by on the road outside. Uh, this one is uh, a little bit different from the one yesterday. Can you tell the difference? Well, the one yesterday had a four-leaf four clover opening on the bottom or top. And this one's only got a three-leaf clover. How about that? It's also more active. Look at that shell. Maybe the sand particles glued together with silicic acid he makes inside as a glue. understand the three-leaf clover we're looking at here it seems to be on the top kind of like a Fabergé egg where you can look inside and see what's going on in there and the, the pseudopods are coming out another hole at the bottom Wish he'd turn on his side and give us a better view, but we can't ask him. And now he's just motoring along like a snail. Possibly we're just looking right down through it and that is the bottom opening. That's what it looks like, huh? He's got himself streamlined. He can look along there. This is a uh, Using a 20x plan Apo lens, Nikon, on the Nikon Fluopot. Let's switch to 40x. Oh, yeah. down through his jelly from the top of the shell. Yeah, and that three-leaf clover opening there, that's on the bottom. It's got to be what we're looking at here. I think what I'm going to do is uh, put this guy back in the aquarium. Multiply by dividing. Hopefully, I can catch another one like him sometime from my aquarium. Well, he's, he's pretty active, huh? 